The Girl Who Takes an Eye for an Eye, book five in the Girl Who slash With series. Uh, the original author died, so this one is by David Lachman. I can't pronounce Swedish names, I'm sorry, despite being. So this series took a very sharp downturn in the fourth book. The original author was an incredibly talented author. He was like a fencer with his foil. It was amazing to see Lisbeth grow and develop throughout the first three books. It was fantastically well executed. You can never really see how she was going to be implemented coming, but she kept popping up in ways. And even though you followed her and kind of got to know Lisbeth intimately, she was still very much in a mystery. Now, this new author, David, <laughs> he's horrible at handling Lisbeth. Um, that doesn't mean the character Lisbeth is now bad. He just doesn't handle her well. I don't think he's a talented enough author to handle this series, period. And he's just out of his depth, it feels like, to me. That Spencer is no longer holding the foil. Now it feels like some barbarian has just picked it up and is just slamming the foil against an anvil. Uh, even the basic plot in The Girl Who Takes an Eye for an Eye is lazy and shallow compared to everything that's happened before in this series. Even the other book that the author wrote, it seems like he just didn't care. There's still a lot of positive reviews coming out for this book, and I can't imagine why. I think uh, so many people just love the character Elizabeth. They're just happy to have her back. Okay. But something I really enjoyed about the first three, the perspective of Elizabeth Given was pretty much... Well, we did follow her in person. We also got an interpretation of her from Mikhail Bloomfist. I think I pronounced that right. It was interesting to see how his view of her grew. Now it feels more like a bad buddy cop vibe. And I just, I, I, I'm i so sad to see uh, this happen to such a well-crafted character. Uh, I still think everyone should pick up the first three books and read them and then just consider it done uh, after that because this guy doesn't know what he's doing, it feels like to me, and he's severely harmed the series as a whole. Plot is just shallow and not interesting. I think his use of character is not very good, period. His villains are extremely shallow. Uh, I haven't seen this shallow of a villain since the Wicked Witch of the West. I mean, damn, it's just an evil doctor woman. That's it, just evil doctor woman. That's that's her entire character. Compare that to the first three books, which had a wonderful build-up and execution of one of the most intimidating, sadistic, awful people. Uh, and I don't want to get into spoilers. I don't think I've touched any here, but just sad. It's really sad. I'm, I'm feeling a very light six, maybe even a five. The technical writing's good. I mean, the person can write. They're an established author. They just can't write good characters, apparently, or bother to develop an interesting villain or execute any kind of real development for the characters that we've watched develop so much in the first three books. You can't tell I'm a little upset because this was in my top ten. This was a series I, I recommended to so many people, and now I'm hoping those people stop at book three because it's, it's infinitely disappointing to have this turn happen. That's, that's my thoughts and opinions on the Girl With series and its current status. Unless a big change happens, like a new author coming in, I'm not going to bother with the next one. It's sad. But you should be happy because I have a new video for y'all that should be up tomorrow, and that is my next summary of a book, and that's going to be Way of Kings, the first book in the Stormlight Archive. Now, while it is going to be another summary, this is going to be a little different. I think it's going to be a lot longer because I want to do a test run of trying to just do a much longer, more thorough, in-depth summary. I'm pretty much breaking down every single chapter, so that's why it's taking me quite a bit of time. There's over 70 chapters that I'm having to summarize. Look forward to that 40-minute or 30 minutes some video coming up tomorrow if my one megabyte a second upload speed here will ever put it up. I'm looking forward to get it out there for to you. And go ahead and pick up the first three Girl Who books. There are no more books in the series as far as I'm concerned. Like and subscribe if you're not already. Peace.